Hello again everyone, welcome back to Daily Runs. Samson. Hmm. It is actually Samson this time, not Lazarus. So, I'm right. Uh, so, Ancient Snails is a great start. Samson is the one where if you take damage, you do damage. Remember that one? This allows us to get a good benefit out of IV Bag. If we can find IV Bag, or just uh, Blood Banks on any floor, to be honest, but only uh, even numbered floors allow blood banks? Yes, even numbered floors. Well, not entirely true. Even numbered floors are the ones on which arcades may spawn. But, blood banks can still spawn randomly, just in rooms, during the run. Uh, this could be good. Let's see what's in here. Interested in this rune. It's a Yera rune, which is kind of what I was hoping for. I and mean, we should re Yera all this money, actually. Let's do that. Yes. And we've got plenty of money, and we can think about going to the shop if we can do that. We can't get to that one, but that's okay. Larry Jr., just don't get hit. So we should focus on uh, fundamentals. We need to get better at actually hitting enemies with our tears, unlike those three shots, and getting better at dodging and just not taking really dumb damage like that. Predicting enemy movements, positioning, all those good things. Yesterday's run was a complete wash because we didn't even get a single damage upgrade, as far as I remember, apart from... Or at Babylon. However, what I did learn is that Eve starts off with 0.75 damage. And Horror Babylon gives you a 1.5 damage multiplier, which means when he, Eve, when Steve is in the Horror of Babylon state with base damage, she is doing the same amount of damage that Isaac starts with. That is not much good. Um, at all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were doing that damage for the entire run until we died, at which point we were doing no damage, but at least we were free. We have a key. A key will let us get into this item room, and this item room will make this run stupendously good. Go. Uh, well, it gives us five bombs, that's pretty decent. Uh, and perks. Perks, I think, does half damage for the room. I mean, you take half damage on the room that you take it on, so you have to take it at the start of a room. So if you have a perks, I guess there's perks to having perks. Maybe we'll use this death card on the boss to ensure we get a deal with the devil. Because that is also very likely to be very valuable. We are going to Mom's Heart. So there will be, we've been through this, uh, a boss rush, but no hush. Which, as we've been through, is the best of both worlds. Wow, we're not doing as much damage as I would honestly like to be doing right now. Can we actually, um... Oh, we do have a remote destinator, of course, so we can just sort of do this sort of thing. That was really stupid, but we could have done it, had I been not super shit. <laughs> Let's use death here, get rid of those. This is the haunt that doesn't actually brimstone you, so I don't really need to go overboard on cute plays like the bomb thing there. Uh, we'll take this. If we're going to do Samson stuff, we certainly want to be able to actually you know, take the red heart damage that we can do to ourselves with a blood bank. Uh, we'll take this, and then we'll take this. I probably didn't really need to do... Actually, now I think about it, shouldn't have taken missing page two, maybe? But we can go into this room. Should we? Yes. Our damage has not super enthralled me. I mean, 8-inch nails is a great damage upgrade, don't get me wrong. And um, we're knocking out gurglings pretty fast, but also it does a um, huge amount of knockback. Makes it kind of difficult to hit twice in a row. Pin? Yes. That was close. <laughs> oh, what are you doing over there, you son of a bitch? See that pin just cropping up underneath me? Every now and pet, every now and pen. Every now and then, pin does this uh, one particular shot, or one particular jump, where it comes from not the middle of the room, but the edge of the room. Uh, I suspect this is a good idea. Which means. Like, normally you're running around the edge of the room going, pin, you can't hit me, trollolol. And then pin. Hello, I'm in the middle of the fucking room. <sighs> Still. Ninefold doesn't help us now. Uh, possibly, obviously. Because we don't have a charged item, we have the remote decimator. But I don't really want to keep hold of the remote decimator. I would like to replace it with a charged item. So, I thought we'd take it, it was on cheat. This will, this, we could do this for half, half health as well. Uh, and hopefully it will do as well later on. Puberty is fine, and we got that for free. So all we learned from that was, or all we gained from that was the knowledge that there's a puberty pill knocking around. 
but we didn't pay for it, so we may have got a, a decent exploration bonus. I'm not sure, how, not sure how that works for cursed rooms. If we can, uh, remember that bit where I'm working on fundamentals and actually hitting enemies with my shots? Yeah, let's try and actually succeed at that, shall we? This is worth doing even if it... Oh, God, no, help! Leave me alone! Well, that's a bit more damage for us on this floor. <laughs> oh, dearie me. That is a terrible, terrible haul from three red chests. You would expect at least some flies, a spirit heart, maybe a guppy item. At least cursed eye. No, two super troll bombs and two normal troll bombs. Wow. Tell you what, a shot speed upgrade or piercing shots. Piercing shots are always brilliant, but they were super good at this point. Because these very high damage tiers that we have would stop doing knockback, I expect. Three? Yeah. So. Play chicken with these until they die. Here we go, here we go. Good, good. Wow, that one nearly didn't die until uh, I should have been the chicken in that one, maybe. Let's use this here. What makes you small? We're a bit smaller now. Our uh, hitbox is lower. That's all we can say about that. And a key. The key will get us into the shop and the item room. Should we go to the shop with only seven cents? I think the possibility of a spirit heart says yes. Although, should we do this double key room? The possibility of I'm already doing it says yes. Three. That re-rolls this stuff. Well, we got a key back, which means we can at least continue to do what we were originally going to do. Just try and find a spirit heart in the shop. Put that there, and then go boom. Did I get two? No. Hmm. I feel like I did some damage to that one, though. Bombs as offense on this run could be a good idea, provided we can reliably... So we continue to generate them somehow, maybe matchstick or, or similar. But because we can currently blow them up at will, we can basically put them anywhere and then just wait. And wait. <laughs> we can, of course, we have to blow them all up at once, so if I hadn't been paying a little bit more attention, I could have accidentally blown myself up, forgetting that I was standing next to a live bomb. Which is easy to forget. No spirit heart, but a uh, better spacebar item, I have to be honest, so let's use it. The Hierophant. Well, that worked out incredibly well. Question marks. It is Lemon Party. Lemon Party is a decent pill, especially against certain bosses. Uh, stationary ones, especially, like Megamore. Megamore's an asshole and can be just completely countered by a single Lemon Party pill. And who doesn't like a Lemon Party, huh? Uh, even Pin. Pin would have been a good one to use it against. I think we're landing all our shots, and yet <laughs> I still feel like we're going slowly. Of course, those ones do regenerate, so a certain amount of unwieldiness in the. Uh... Oh god, I'm concentrating. I'll stop talking. I have to. Quick, do as much damage. No, stop doing that. As much damage as possible whilst it's in between shots. Oh, you hit me. Yeah, faster. I would like to be doing a faster rate of fire. If that's a thing you do, it may be a thing you have, in which case I would like to have a faster rate of fire, irrespective of these considerations. We'll get this afterwards. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Damage and tears up is exactly what we needed. It's a damage upgrade. And a faster rate of fire. And we will take our HP, which we would have spent on the pact. So... Uh, some intermediate level Isaac play. Take. Well, you, you gamble on HP when it shows up at Deal with the Devil. It could have been that there were two items and I would have had to pay for them both. There weren't. Which is lucky. Uh, so, if there's only one item and it costs two red hearts, it only costs you one red heart if you only have one red heart. But if there's two items and you want them both, you can't. If you've already taken the thing. Oh, I'm not explaining it. Oh, we get flies from poop when we have this, by the way. If there are two deals and you have one red heart, the second deal will cost spirit hearts. But if there is only one deal and it costs two red hearts and you have two red hearts, it costs them both. So, you gamble on whether there's going to be one deal that you want that costs two red hearts, or two deals that cost one red heart and you have to pay over the odds. Judas' Shadow. Interesting. The Hierophant is stupendous, as we've mentioned. Judas' Shadow I have taken on the very slim off chance that we die. This is a strong run, and I don't see that we're going to be dying anytime soon. But, but, 
There's always a but, isn't there? Well, yes. It's usually the one of jokes. Tears up. Even better. We don't need that. We don't need... Uh, we don't need any of this, to be honest. I will continue. Anyway, the point is you take the HP after the deal with the devil. If you feel that is the correct thing to do, you gamble. You can get your HP back. Should we... I don't think we should kill ourselves. That would seem like a terrible idea. Unless we suddenly get a way of producing a lot of spirit hearts in a short amount of time. Please. Thank you. Uh, there's one now. This is not a way of producing them. Oh. I kind of walked into that, but I probably deserve it. Uh, dying as... Coming back as Dark Judas is a, a very good damage upgrade, but it's a huge health downgrade, especially for us right now, because we have a lot of health. Wow. Remember that bit where that explodes into an enemy that shoots you? Yeah, remember that. Deal with it. I'm going to go and do the boss trap room. We're on 10 minutes, which is pretty decent, I think. Uh, yes, we can actually do it as well. Now that we have what I asked for, which is outrageous, I'm so surprised. These are the... Oh, they bounced off each other and confused me. Uh, I think I would like a familiar or two. You know, someone to keep me company throughout this mom-induced slog through these crazy dungeons. don't know why mom seeded these dungeons with all these amazing items that could send me balls in out of control and defeating everything that she could throw against me. It's like... Standard, uh, standard villain, I suppose. Wow. Peep is tanky. Did you know this? I didn't know this. Tanky AF, I believe they would say. On the old Tumblerville. And other places too. We no longer have... Oh, okay. <laughs> we no longer have our remote detonator, so... We can't play the bomb game anymore. But we can play the bomb game versus Chubb. Oh, that was ready. Very fast. Chubb, old bean. Did take damage, but only one hit on that entire, entire room, so... Not the end of the world, can't avoid that, so we'll take it. Don't really care. The Hierophant again is... If we could get blank card Hierophant, then I would probably kill myself for... Um, for Dark Judas. I don't think we can. So I'm not going to think about it too much right now. One wave of that. And Roid Rage. Speed and Rage. We'll use this, we'll keep this, we'll move on. We've been to everything we care for. Right, we're going nice and fast, I think. Uh, we've got a few minutes to do the next two floors. It's not an XL floor, so we're not going to get the benefit of that. But wasn't really expecting one, so... Don't really know why I brought it up. Just something to say, I suppose. Past the time. You know how it is. You're in a restaurant. Date's not going well. You say something. Anything. Grasping at straws. Something to make it seem like less of a, a chore to get through the next few minutes. Until the bill arrives and everyone can go home. Yes, that's how it works in the real world, not just rom coms and strange films about strange people. This is going very fast. Uh, it, oh, even though I'm taking silly damage and getting hit and failing to actually necessarily temperance, that's what we want. Well, we'll take it, why not? The devil. Uh, I think that's better than the Hermit. I don't really feel the need to teleport out of anywhere. Maybe if we went to a cursed room we could teleport out with the Hermit or save a key, but who needs keys, right? We can't go to Hush, so we don't need the Seventh for that. Careful. Uh, Joker. Okay. That's even better. <laughs> we'll keep hold of this. If we don't get a deal with the Devil, we will use it. And there's a strong chance we don't, because we... Actually, there's... When did we get our last deal with the Devil? Two floors ago? Please stop getting hit, if you can help it. Unfortunately, we don't have too much HP, so hmm, we can't really play the Blood Bank as much as I'd like to and get a good damage upgrade from it. This is nice. Mask of Infamy, uh, I hate you. <laughs> Just saying. It's a very difficult boss to beat. Not because it's uh, like challenging. I mean, it's kind of challenging in as much as the mask moves in erratic ways and not erotic ways, no. So a completely different game. But actually getting a shot in on the damn thing, it just seems to be a matter of luck. <laughs> how, the, how the hell? 
it's not like those knights that um, run to the edge of the room before they stop. The mask here can actually turn around on a dime. Or a nickel or whatever. And go faster than my shots as well. It makes it very difficult to actually hit. You have to hit the back of it. So you're trying to tempt it like this. And shoot it in some respect. Oh my god, they're going to... Come on now. <laughs> I haven't got any hits in for ages. Oh, we got a uh, spider from Spider Baby. Yes, another couple of hits. This is why I wanted piercing shots. Not specifically why, but these these enemies just don't take any time at all with piercing shots. And the screw. The screw does help. We didn't get a deal with the devil. Let's force one. Hmm. Guppy item will give us a chance at Guppy. Health up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Take that, take that, pick up this, and have another health upgrade. We're back to where we started. Do I want to do anything else on this floor? The sun. Let's use it. Uh, yes, quite a lot. I think we have enough time to at least get some more of it knocked out. Get some exploration bonus. The secret room's a good, a good start at that. Ooh, mini mush is decent. Bit of a speed upgrade. That'll help us do this room a bit, this floor a bit faster. I want to go to the shop. We have 18 coins and we just got a golden key. So we can go to the shop as much as we like. Uh, Lemon Party does not help at all against these enemies because they can fly. Uh, although getting hit and losing a black heart is completely valid in every possible respect. Uh, I th think I want this. It's weird. Um, I do like having the occasional hero fan card. I know the other cards that we got were decent as well, but... Wow. Good shot. That was a, a very good turnaround. Turnaround is fair play, is what I'm saying. On that Mask of For many enemies, such as the Mask of Infamy, who we recently fought, the Black Candle is going to be supremely powerful. Uh, extra Spirit Hearts is great. Simply because... Um, we don't have to try and hit the back of it. It's going to also be very helpful on the equivalent in in mob form, vis are vis those knights, the ones that I mentioned, that have to hit the edge of the room before they turn around and try and attack you back. And also this room. Basically any any long room, anything where we can convince things to land on the fire. It's going to be super easy. Here's the situation right now. That didn't work. That one might. Yep. Question marks. These ones. See? They just walk through the fire and they are owned. Of course, piercing shots would be even better, but... It's like a poor man's piercing shots, I suppose. Let's see what this pill is. It's one makes you larger. Well, we're as big as we were before we took the one makes you smaller, so whatever. There's one more room. I don't care. We're going. Uh, more coins? Might as well. Blow it up. One more coin. Not really worth the bomb we spent. It's done. Let's go. 17 minutes. Uh, it took a bit longer finishing the room as I'd, uh, the floor as I'd like, but maybe I should have kept the sun card for this floor. That would have been a good idea, actually. There you go, you're dead. And you're dead. Ooh. Lemon Party, as mentioned, is good against this particular boss, so that didn't take any time, and we're happy. Uh, there is a key there. I kind of just ignored it, I guess. I'm rushing a little bit. That much is possibly quite apparent. Again, another type of enemy that you can just kite through the fire and let it sort of deal with itself. There we go. Why do I get a... It gives me the charge noise after I've used it rather than before. Which is odd. Oh, I guess we have um, 9 volts, so maybe it's charging twice as fast as it normally does? These fucking things, so. It does recharge itself, you see. By default. Excellent. Come on. You can have that. Do I want the extra space? I suspect so. I've been getting pretty good results out of cards, so having a few more is no problem. Got a bomb here. Take that. Judgment. Don't really care about. Good. Let's move on. Let's see if we can find the boss. Um, <laughs> basically, I just want to get this boss rush done because I think we have a good chance at it. And it's the only rush that we can get any points from, so I definitely want to do it. 
What? That went right through it. Check the footage. You saw that. If you move around too much, I think, the problem is that you'll find you... You're always firing in a banked shot sort of configuration. Uh, I'll just do the boss. To hell with the item, it's probably fucking Sister Maggie or something. That was very helpful. Thank you, Mum. Didn't get our piercing shots. It's probably piercing shots, actually, now that I think about it. Just to uh, rub it in. Add insult to injury. Wow, these fires don't half bounce. I'm trying to get them to land so that they're in the doorway. So that when the mom piece pops out again, it this is damage directly to it. Ow. Pardon me. Please stop shooting me. It's very upsetting. I'm going to stay here for a second. There we go. Don't disappear again. Good. Deal with the devil. We've got half now. We might as well take this. We can't re roll them. Might as well take this and this and this. And we've got a lot of health. And we've got two maybe lives. And Eden's Blessing does nothing for us. We might as well take the money. Which is also going to do nothing for us. But I suspect that the points we got for it will help. Right, I believe the fact it's 25 cents gives us 25 cents worth of points. Which is more points than no points. No, it's more points than it costs us to pick it up. Ah, that's the important thing. Good thinking. I seem to be using Sacrificial Dagger. Don't worry, it's a terrible idea and it's going to get me killed. Uh, we have invincibility, thanks to permanent Polaroid invincibility, but I did not make the best of it because I'm bad. Not bad like, you know, bad girls like bad boys sort of thing. Not b -b 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 bad to the bone sort of bad. Oh, that was shit. But bad as in, you're shit at this game, why are you recording it for YouTube? Yeah. Good question, I do ask myself the same thing on a regular basis. Look, just pepper the place with fires. If something walks into them, something walks into them, right? In fact, I should put them where I expect enemies to show up. Where's the rest of this bloody thing? Hello? Hello? There you are. He's running away from me. Coward! I'll get you! Uh, I just bought full salt into that. Man, aiming these fires to be where I want them to be is not working out for me at all. I probably deserve that because I just watched it land. Much like a space program. Maybe this one will kill this one. What do you reckon? Please jump. Jump so I know where you are. There you go. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I walked into that whilst that was killing that just so that I could kill that, which I didn't need to do because that was killing it. Uh, hoist by my own petard, I believe is the turn of phrase I want to use there. What did that bounce off? You know these fires bounce, and then you shoot them, and then they don't go anywhere. It's usually because you hit a rock. At like the corner of a rock. Maybe I hit this poop. Maybe. Maybe. Don't want to get hit by the brimstone from that particular joker, so we'll avoid doing so. Did you... did it die? Careful. Man, I really don't like pestilence. These shots are bullshit. It's a good thing I can fly. Uh... I managed to accidentally shoot that into the fire that I made as a trap for something that was dead a long time ago. The best plan is one you can use several times. Wow, we're doing a lot of damage. It's probably because I got hit a lot, <laughs> if I'm being quite honest. Like that, yeah. Thanks for the demonstration. Please don't brimstone me. Good. Brimstone him! Ugh. Can you not brimstone each other or something? I know you can. You know, brotherly love, that sort of thing. Wow. So we're doing enough damage to completely ruin Ragman, but I seem to be still taking a lot of damage myself. It's just sloppy play. I have no excuse for it, but then I don't intend to excuse it, so... Make of that what you will. I should apologise, I suppose? Sorry for this. Obviously, extremely entertaining video. Everyone likes to see people get hurt. Pete, we've, we've seen you before. You didn't really offer much as a challenge. I mean, you're a pest. There's no getting around now. Oh, I made the noise. I thought I'd finished. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was an excellent... I'd like to say it was intentional of Pete, 
that it just happened that it's stupid eyeballs and a stupid wrong stupid. Ooh, card. Joker? Two of clubs. Well, maybe we can use some bombs. Next time this thing jumps, we could bomb. Yeah. Oh, it didn't die, though. Should probably focus down a single thing. This is another thing I'm guilty of. I'll go, oh, I'm bored of that enemy. I'll shoot this enemy. No. Focus down one enemy, then come back. Oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah. Uh, second hand. Do I want the second hand? No. Maybe. I don't think we have any stats that we can extend, to be honest. Uh, uh, status effects, I suppose, I should say. We have stats. That's why we're doing damage. It would be difficult to do damage sans stats. Where's the other one? Oh, it's Gurdy. I think we'll take out Gurdy first. Until Peep comes... Uh, Dingle comes and makes himself known, at which point we'll take out Dingle. Nope. Dingle's just standing there whistling. Like, uh... Dip Van Dyke. Doing a terrible cockney impression. Cockney impression. Yes, kill it. Oh, you didn't kill it. Bad. I'm going to get brimstone. No, I got the benefit of that angel doing its attacks. I was kind of hoping that uh, the, the, the bloat would brimstone the angel, so I don't have to deal with the angel. But the angel essentially brimstone bloat, so it is what it is. Que sera, sera. Oh, we're done. Oh, I got piercing shots. Thank you so much. That's exactly what I needed. Now we can feel good about going on, and we still need to figure out how we can break this game and go further than Mom's heart. So now we really need to start um, exploring a lot. If we can find the super secret room and get an AWAS room, which is how we first broke the game and did a stupendous amount of points, uh, and I'd like to do it again, if you don't mind. We do have Empty Vessel, which is occasionally giving us uh, shots. I'm going to keep keep Guppy's head. And I'm going to keep this. Okay, good. <laughs> now we've got a shitload of damage, and our flies are going to do twice as much as that to each enemy. And we have Piercing Shots, which is perfect. And I took a small amount of damage on the Curse Room, which was intentional. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Just to give us a... Well, it wasn't to give us a damage bonus, but it, it had the effect of doing so. Card is the world. What is that? Doesn't tell us about the super secret room, but we can do. We don't need to rush, which is quite gratifying. Uh, because rushings are the worst. No, rushing is like it's the hardest part of the game, to be honest. Trying to do these two rooms uh, floors in the amount of time you have left after boss rush. Well, it's it screwed us over recently because we had such a shit Eden run that we couldn't actually. <laughs> we couldn't finish boss rush before we had to be at hush, essentially. Oh yeah, that's recharging as well, so that's... I'm going to assume that I made the right choice on Guppy's head. Mostly because the flies target on their own. Which means I don't have to do it. Which means it's already better than the fire. Because... I had to aim the fire myself. It does charge up twice as often, but I wasn't really using it. Karma doesn't do anything for us anymore because there are no more um, donation machines. In fact, there aren't any donation machines at all. What am I talking about? Hello, Roth. You ain't gonna last long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Would have been nice to get this guppy item a little bit earlier so that I could have all those flies on Boss Rush rather than trying to fiddle around with the, the old... Uh, Fire there, health up. Uh, actually, I don't want that. <laughs> oh well, it's done. Maybe we get a deal with the devil that sells us something. Run away. Coward! Oh, I got hit. Whatever. That um, that trinket there actually gives you HP when you use a key. Oh, so Ooh. I think we do it here. This is definitely where we do this. Right, so we need to... um. So if we get a deal with the devil, because we need to be stronger, we don't need to be stronger. It would be valuable to be stronger if we're going to do the dark room. Wow, he just shot up, showed up, shot me, and disappeared, all in the amount of time it takes me to react to literally anything at all. But I'm not, I'm not that good at reacting, bro. You can't just show up and shoot me. 
Now I have lost empty vessels, so we are sincerely hoping that the devil shows up and sells us something for HP. If it doesn't, that's okay. Um, empty vessel is not the end of the world. I mean, half of the benefit is flight. Not Krampus. Didn't sell us anything, you bastard. But you did get some spirit hearts out of it, which I'm going to try not to lose against trivial spiders. And then we'll go back and we'll sacrifice them all. Oh, we could die on the angel fight. Ooh, we could kill ourselves for Samson, for Dark Judas. Because we're not going to keep the HP anyway. We're going to be in trouble. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's going to be horrendous. Where the heck is the super secret room? Don't have enough bombs to really... Ah, uh, there we go. Try too hard? Bad gas. Health up again. Might as well take it. Another health up. One of those is actually health up. And one of them is a health up. And tears up. Wow. <laughs> what a stupendously excellent room that turned out to be. Unfortunately, it wasn't what I wanted. Which is a way of getting more spirit hearts. Well... I wouldn't mind a perks pill right now. Bombs! That's exactly what I need. Thanks for fucking playing. Is it not time for an angel statue at least by now? No? We've got our spirit heart back though, so we can use it again. We've got troll bombs. Probably puts us at a very strong disadvantage. They didn't, <laughs> didn't last any time at all. We'll take that because you can't re-roll it. Money! No! I don't want your money! Don't want your money, honey. Look, if this doesn't get us where we need to be, there's one red HP. We're going to take it. Going to go back and get it. Hmm. Hmm. Look out for tinted drops, maybe? Hmm. It's going to put us at a serious disadvantage. I don't want karma. Get out of here. I think we need to do two more hits. Oh, there's another HP. Two more hits on the statue. What have you got for me? HP? No. Two more hits on the statue to get us to the dark room. At which point we'll be Dark Judas doing a lot more damage. Plus we have the the curved horn. I think that's all of the spirit, the tinted drops on this room. Uh, look. <laughs> My brains are fuddled because I'm doing crazy stuff that I don't like piece and then yes right now we can die in peace if that makes sense it's not the same as resting in peace no if we die there's no no rest there ain't no rest oh my god this is amazing kill me right now with dark judas we have five hp and we're very powerful see <laughs> we also have flies thanks to guppy's head which we're going to regenerate on any room that we can't you know, kill instantly. There's also these blue fires. Oh, I did remember to keep the curved horn, which is more about love and judgment. Ow. <laughs> Very ow, just saying. And we have uh, the empty vessel, so occasionally we will get three um, invincibility for no, no real reason. At random, but free nevertheless. And also we have sack dagger, so when we do get invincibility, we just go and kill the shit out of everything. All right. There it is now. Far too late. Um, if we die again, it seems likely because we're not actually, you know, beating the shit out of all these enemies. Or we've been unlucky with rooms. Guppy's, Guppy's collar could bring us back? Could? It's not something to rely on. Maybe the High Priestess would have been a good idea? Maybe here. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. Excuse me, no. <laughs> Please, no. Die. Die already. Need to use sack dagger. There we go. Right. This one didn't jump in all that time, which is outstanding. It's just sitting there farting, making poop. <laughs> like some people. I know quite well. Um. Oh, Struth. Man, some of these rooms are easy enough that if I can avoid using my flies, I'm certainly going to. Monstro's tooth does not really help. Could have helped. I think the flies are more valuable. Yeah, definitely more valuable. They just do so much more damage. Uh, no. Could do, but no. Let's see if we can get rid of this one quickly. Yes, we can. That was important because 
having these things overlapping their shots is just awfully, awfully hard. Now, I've, I'm pretty confident that the fact that we've teleported and come to the dark room is much more valuable than any... Uh, what is my invincibility? Than any opportunity we could have had to beat, you know, Mom's heart. That one extra floor, which is Mom's heart, not nearly as valuable as this floor. Even though it costs us all that HP. Hmm. I'm going to remember that's there, but I'm not going to take it now. Why? Every three rooms we get invincibility, and we have to beat the lamb in order to not... In order for this not to be a, a death, basically. And I don't want it to be a death. So, when we get to the... When we find the lamb fight, we will come back and get that. Oh, we've got invincibility. Die, die, die. La, 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 la. We'll come back and get that, and we'll use it to supplement the random invincibility we get anyway, thanks to um, Empty Vessel. Wow, I'm, I'm succeeding! I'm succeeding! I'm winning! What was that? The mask? Yeah. Jim Carrey, 1996, I think. I, I keep being tempted to watch the mask again, but if I do, you know, the CGI is going to look shit, isn't it? I'm going to be upset. I hate that CGI. I don't hate it, you know. Points for trying, etc. I watched Jurassic Park recently. Same problem. Two of diamonds. Yeah, <laughs> fine. And a sack of pennies, which is also very valuable, as you can no doubt imagine. Having just doubled 92 cents into 99 cents, what I need at this stage is more money. Hmm. These are uh, these easy rooms are very valuable to me because they get me an extra charge on Guppy's head. I didn't have to really work for it. I didn't spend any flies on, I suppose. It's, like, it's almost like a battery in and of itself. It ch charges very slowly, actually. Still alive, still not dead. Do we explore the rest of the floor? It looks like there's only a couple of rooms left, so... I think we can manage it. I really think we can. That little tiny bit of extra exploration bonus is going to give us... Yeah, there's only one. Oh, God. Look at the room, though. Which, why does it have to be this room? Game. What are you doing to me? Kill it with sack dag. Kill it with sack dag. Dun, 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 dun. No. No. Nice. Right, just pay attention. Don't get hit. Don't take dumb damage. Use the flies. Use the force. Yes. Ha ha! No item. That's okay. Now we take... Not that. Now we take this... Probably a secret room somewhere. <laughs> he says. Immediately find secret room. No. Rubs. Rubs imaginary medallion on chest. Smug mode. Yeah, all that money was very worthwhile picking up. And then we go in here. And I can't believe I got hit against greed though. That's just awful, awful timing. Let me press this button and we do this. It doesn't give us quite so long an invincibility as the Altus room, but it's long enough to get this job done, I hope. Yes, it is. Well, that was very good. Let's see how well we did. <gasps> 32,287. Even that is probably all that damage I took. 7,000 damage penalty is worse than I've ever had a damage penalty before, I'm pretty sure. But, pretty good score nevertheless. So, uh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> I'm down with that. Check we died again. Oh well. I should really learn to determine whether it's a hard mode run or not. But, thank you for watching. Hopefully uh, another exciting run tomorrow. But, so far we've had some reasonably mediocre ones in which we've died. But never mind. Thank you for watching and come back tomorrow for another one.